Hello guys, uh, in this video uh, we will uh, work on DevHub, uh, it is a develop uh, development session, so during the video I will try to solve some uh, issues, some tasks uh, for DevHub, uh, and right now we have a list of the issues uh, in our uh, GitHub repository, if you are not yet, uh, uh, let's call it subscribed, Please yeah, uh, start and watch this repository. And in this repository, I have list of the items or tasks uh, for our uh, DevHub project. And in this one, uh, I want to work on this uh, uh, task. So I basically will assign this task to myself. Uh, and basically, uh, what I mean by this task, uh, it says that introduce. Uh, Django backend and frontend separate from React frontend. So, uh, if you remember, for our code, uh, for our uh, DevHub um, project, uh, we uh, will use our uh, React as a frontend. So, basically, uh, our um, let's say architecture looks like this. Will looks like this. So, we will have uh, Django. Uh, and based on Django, uh, let's call, let's put it here. Based on Django, we will have also uh, uh, our Django REST framework. Uh, Django REST framework. So uh, I will a little bit make it bigger. Uh, and uh, on base of this, uh, we will have another project on React, which will be our uh, uh, frontend. So basically, it is our React, uh, which is our dev hub uh, frontend, frontend, and this one is our backend. So dev hub uh, backend, which is on Django. Uh, but right now we don't have a React project, uh, and and for now I don't want to uh, add this project because on our backend we don't have uh, a lot of stuff uh, right now. For example, right now we don't have our uh, database uh, because yeah we we need to store uh, information some somewhere, uh, and also we don't have uh, let's say. Uh, our development environment. Uh, development environment. Uh, and by development in my environment, I mean, uh, uh, for example, Docker. Uh, I mean CI/CD. Uh, and by CI/CD, I mean uh, we push our code to GitHub then it is automatically deployed to somewhere or, or tested at least. Uh, so we don't have CI CD, uh, we don't have tests and etc etc. So um, and that's why that's why uh, before moving uh, towards this direction uh, we will have temporary front end which will be on Django. So our temporary front-end uh, which is basically Django views and templates. So that's our uh, base uh, structure, let's call it like this. Uh, yeah, because uh, it's just simple uh, design of all our stuff. Uh, by time we will have more items like uh, cache, for example. Uh, right now we don't have any cache, and even we don't have any cache uh, caching strategy or logic uh, because we don't know. Right now we don't have any uh, database model, so it will be one of our next steps. But for now, yeah. But in our uh, concept, in our plans, uh, uh, we have um, this design in mind. So we do understand that um, yeah, before we start with, with this uh, front-end technology, uh, we 
at least need to have all this. So at least we need to have our Django backend, our database model, uh, and yeah, and uh, some environment where we can test stuff and etc. etc. And right now, uh, I want to have uh, some um, uh, some templates or some structure for our uh, front end. So for this, basically, uh, we will use Django's documentation. Uh, move to. I am not sure which step was in this uh, documentation. I will put all uh, yeah, all links in description so you can check. Uh, but basically, what I am looking for is where we can check. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it is uh, two uh, two point one, the latest Django. Uh, uh, we will back to database setup and etc. But right now, my goal is to have a proper Django backend and then proper Django frontend. Uh, Django up, writing more views. Yeah, that that will be enough. Uh, and now. Uh, let's move to our uh, project. Uh, yep, yeah. I will check. Uh, I will check uh, my directory. Uh, let's make it bigger so you can see. Uh, so I need to go back. Move to coder logger, I think. Where, where I am? Uh, okay, one, one back. Then coder vlogger and data, not data hub, but uh, dev hub. Uh, and I want to check, uh, let's put uh, full command git status. Uh, okay, it says I am on master, uh, nothing to commit. Um, but please keep in mind that if you uh, fork this repository, so what I uh, recommend if you want to send some updates, some changes uh, on your side, uh, you will have a bit different structure because you will fork then in your account. So uh, because I am the administrator of uh, Coder Vlogger, I can directly uh, yeah send my uh, pushes and and yeah, commits to uh, DevHub. But if you fork, you will have uh, uh, DevHub in your uh, repository. Then you can clone it as usual. So. Don't if you want to make uh, changes, uh, please clone. Don't, don't use a download. So you can use JIT commands to clone. Uh, we have a tutorial where you can uh, see this. Uh, I, I mean, check JIT commands. Uh, I, I just made a note that I will include this. Uh, yeah, let's also show this. So I will include all this uh, in in description so you can see. I will uh, have a link to JIT commands and also have, uh, okay, it's understandable, so Django tutorial for views. I will include this in description, so please check this video's description. So let's move this, uh, okay. Uh, so uh, you will have uh, a little bit different JIT commands because you will work on fork. Uh, and I also will uh, include the link where you can send your pull requests. Uh, let me just uh, very quickly show you uh, GitHub pull requests. Uh, everything on GitHub uh, documentation, so I will just include this link in the description. So if you want to contribute or want to be part of this uh, request story, uh, you can fork it, you can make your changes and send me your pull request. How you can send pull requests, I will include this link. Please read this uh, and, yeah, and you will see how you can send your pull request. And the reason why I explain this, all this stuff, because we have uh, our, just uh, some uh, quick remark, we have our uh, mentorship program. We have members of mentorship program. You can see them uh, in description of, of uh, this repository. And uh, some of the tasks will be done by them, uh, I hope at least. Uh, so yeah, and that's why if you want also to, to, to contribute this, uh, to this repository, uh, to DevHub, uh, please follow these instructions so you can do it. Uh, now let's just continue, it was a quick remark. Uh, and now we can go back to our uh, source code. I, I just checked that we don't have uh, any 
uh, any changes in my uh, local computer in my uh, repository so I can do this check out uh, feature and it, our feature is Django frontend um, I will skip creating of branch because it will make a additional complication add, add additional complication let's for now just keep on master but for next I will prepare prepare environment where you can see JIT branching but now let's just continue with our uh, tutorial uh, yeah and our goal was to add uh, some views uh, let's first create uh, a folder structure so basically, uh, just a quick reminder that we have our dev hub. Uh, within our dev hub, uh, we have uh, docs, SRC, tests, and etc. And within our SRC, we have Django application, Django core configuration and settings. Uh, and in this directory, I will have one more uh, folder, which will be our templates. Uh, and in these templates, we will keep all uh, view files or HTML files for our Django frontend. So, and it will be per uh, application. So, for account, we will have uh, account folder, account. Uh, later, we will have uh, more Django applications, like for example, feed, where we will keep uh, some posts from uh, accounts. For this, we will have another uh, template. But for now, for account, let's have one more file, which will be index.html. And basically in this index.html, we will uh, have all front-end code for our account model. Uh, it's uh, all this uh, quite uh, basic stuff if you know Django, uh, but uh, we have uh, beginners uh, in our um, uh, community. so. I will just show all the steps for everyone. So let's continue. So and uh, right now I will just mention that it is account and index. Later we will have some logic here. And also I will add few more files for other tasks. Let's say uh, so uh, our members just can uh, fill these files. Mr.html. Okay. Uh, models index login HTML and register HTML. Uh, I will copy paste all this uh, uh, to, to the folders, uh, to the file. So register. This one is a register, and this one is a login. And now we can go back to our uh, account. So as you uh, remember, in our first video, we I showed how we can create account model, and basically in our account model. Uh, we have Django's default account model, uh, but few addition, one addition actually, it is required fields. And we require that you have username and email when you register new account. So it is just uh, some information for register uh, because we have uh, in our tasks, as in one of the next tasks, uh, uh, user register model and user uh, login model. Uh, yeah, so you can use this model to have login and register and this you can use these files to have a front-end code for login and register um, right now let's make uh, some code in our let's add some code in our uh, account index page uh, for this I will go back to our tutorial uh, and basically uh, we'll add uh, yeah, we will copy past these steps so uh, let's do ba -ba 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 -bam, this one actually do something okay uh, so let's first start with a uh, with view itself okay so right now we return uh, text uh, just uh, let's just remove this part we don't need this uh, I will replace this uh, index and we will replace this implementation but for now uh, before uh, we move to our uh, views we need to make sure that we have all this URLs configuration so I will add URLs.py and for URL.py uh, yeah, I need all this we will do cleanup 
Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. We don't need this. We don't need this. Uh, and usually I don't use uh, relative pairs. I use uh, uh, yeah, name of the uh, name of the uh, application. In our case, it's account. So we say that from account import views, which is this file. Uh, and in our views, let's go back. We don't need a model. We don't need this. Uh, yep. Go here. And I need also URLs, account, right? Uh, and I also need the our uh, root URLs, which is dev hub. Uh, and here, let's go back. Mm -hmm. uh, it says that the account has no index, right? It is true because we have detail. I will rename it to index. Uh, now I think it is happy, right? Or not? Or not happy? Has no index. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, if we have index, okay. Let's just give some time. Uh, okay. Uh, and, and also we need to import this. Uh, I think it was part of the Django. Let's just find. Okay. HTTP response. one mm -hmm. uh, and now we need to configure our URLs because yeah, we have uh, right now we have a separate pass for wait wait it is an account right uh, and it is saved okay import views Uh, and now uh, we have our separate URLs uh, for account, and, and now I need to include this uh, in my uh, uh, root URLs configuration, which is basically account slash, uh, and I believe it was here include, and it should say that we need we have our separate file which is account and dot views I believe. Okay, just double check. Do we have include here? No, include. It is not covering include because let's check. They uh, yeah, they have separate file as we do. Uh, it's probably in our uh, previous example because I don't remember it was include or pass as a string or uh, as a uh, as a folder path. So I will double check what else. Okay, let's just search Django URLs include. Yeah, they usually uh, refer to development version, but uh, I don't think that it will be changed. Um, ba -ba 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 include, we need include. Yeah, that's right. We did the proper way. So we do include uh, and our uh, pass is also correct. So now uh, we can try to run our application. Uh, I need to move to SRC. No, first I need to activate my uh, virtual env. Uh, if you don't know what's it, check first video. Uh, and then I need to run my application and server. Probably it will, yeah, it will have some errors. No module named account app. Okay, let's check our settings. The app. Mm -hmm. Here. Uh, we have our account, but. It is not app, but apps, right? Right. Okay. Try it again. Okay. The views. 
in a country it doesn't uh, appear to have uh, any patterns in it if you see valid patterns let's double check it says that we have uh, circular Im imports so i will just double check uh, this is for index it's our index page in our index page we have our uh, index H uh, index page implementation of our index page uh, we have index file itself uh, and we have configuration we ah, right it is URLs of course uh, and now let's try to run it okay um, for a custom field, custom field user model must not be included in required fields. Uh, the field named as a username field for a custom user model uh, must not be included in required fields. Okay, uh, for uh, we need to fix this part, but for now, let's just uh, let's just try to remove username from here uh, because right now I want to run uh, to have executable application yeah and now uh, it was ex as expected we can make uh, migrations it will not be the final migration because uh, uh, I will remove this file when I will have proper model and then add it again but for now our goal is to run application so we just need to run server uh, now we can go to the URL We don't have anything on on index on main page, uh, and but now we have yeah, that's okay. Let's make some updates. Yeah, okay, we copy pasted it, but didn't clean up, so I will do clean up, and I will try to okay. Okay, finally we have uh, our uh, result. Uh, but our goal was to return this from our HTML file. So let's just check in our uh, uh, in our uh, documentation uh, in Django's documentation actually. And my goal right now is to find uh, uh, implementation for uh, for templates. I think in this one they yeah not this one. Go back. Go back. Yeah. HTML. So right now I want to check uh, implementation of uh, templates. Uh, it will be probably in the next tutorial. Okay, not this one. Uh, not this one. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, this one. Uh, but I believe that before you can use uh, this style so basically they also have HTML uh, and they uh, use this uh, template to return this HTML uh, yeah, or we can use just for render so you can see two implementation first uh, this is through a response so it's manual we get a template uh, we have our context in our case we don't have right now context but we will have context and then they uh, return HTTP response and after this they explain that they have shortcut uh, function which is doing the same so we will just uh, use this uh, shortcut in our implementation uh, yeah, we actually have this here and now we can do render and I think yeah, this is not the case. Um, it is count index.html uh, and we need to provide request. Uh, it's format count. Uh, so we have render and we don't have context right now. And now I do believe that we need to do some configuration for our templates. This probably will be in our settings file. So I will go to settings and do templates uh, and directory. Mm -hmm. I will just try. I don't remember this part as uh, well. Uh, templates, I will just do. Uh... No, I don't 
going to be to work because we need to generate this uh, from our path. So basically, if I just do the blades, it will search in, in a, it can search to, uh, in a wrong folder. So, um, template system, let's just search. Do we have a configuration here? If we don't, uh, I will just search in in a, in a documentation of Django. So we have a view, right? Views actually do something. Template Django templates backend in upstairs. True by converting Django templates for the local templates ability in each. So that's what we need. Uh, this part. Your project template settings describes how Django will load templates. The default settings for file. We can let's check do we have so it says default so prob probably we have this uh, templates yeah we have backend uh, sub directory in each of okay so, uh, okay I see now uh, looks for uh, templates sub directory of uh, in each of uh, within the templates directory we have just created create another directory called polls and within the, that uh, creates a file uh, blah 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 okay okay so basically uh, if we want to follow the uh, default structure right now I want to follow the default structure we just need to remo uh, move this to template to accounts folder uh, and and that's it so let's save uh, and let's try to restart okay it's automatically started yeah that's it that's from our html file um, okay uh, and now uh, let's just do some basic uh, basic uh, uh, check so I will just add uh, one more paragraph saying that you are in accounts index page just for check okay that's it so uh, let's just do a quick summarize and finish this part uh, so basically what we did we uh, yeah, let's start with URLs. We add, added uh, our new file, which is urls.py. Uh, we then did a register for this URLs in our core URL file. Uh, so, because devhub is, is a core configuration folder for our Django application, account is uh, is a is a folder for our account application, and in this account application we have URLs. It's a separate file which refers to our uh, views right now we have only one view which is index view and within this index view uh, we have uh, one index page which returns uh, just uh, our index html file and for index html file uh, you can read the more details in this documentation but shortly it is uh, it looks in a templates folder of the application with the same name as application itself so account account within templates and we have index file uh, and we return this index file as a result uh, and now uh, what i want to do is just to uh, give some explanation so basically we did uh, introduction or we introduced uh, django backend and frontend structure uh from now uh our members so we will check uh log login model and register model separately uh but uh for now i want to give a chance to our uh members of uh, uh mentorship so you can do this uh by themselves so yeah uh, for now let's just uh add our stuff to, to the repository i will stop application go one up then say git add by this i added all new files to my uh, repository so we have quite a lot of uh, new files uh, then i will say a commit uh, uh, it's new uh, and we what we did we implemented uh, 
Django frontend templates for account. Uh, and so let's see, this one closes uh, ticket number three. Um, I will explain you a bit. So basically, this command here, when you have uh, in your commit message, you can have some instructions for GitHub. And basically, by this command, uh, I am saying to GitHub that I am with this command, with this commit, I am closing this ticket, this task. Uh, add this, and then git push. I can just say git push because I already pushed to master, but I will now have full command git push origin master. Uh, please, what to say? Fatal origin does not appear to be replaced. Ah, yeah. Oh, okay. In my case, I have. Uh, I so I will show what what why it doesn't work. For you, it will be it work. It will work probably, but for me, because I have the same repository in my account, uh, I will explain later why I have this. But but uh, what I want to do is push to this uh, coder vlogger. So I should say git push coder vlogger master. Uh, it says that we have some updates. Okay, it's okay. Let's just pull. Other vlogger master come on merge and then finally push yeah. uh, first let's check this as you can see our ticket automatically closed uh, yeah and if I go back then move to SRC. I see I have account. I see that I have uh, these files here. So from now, uh, we at least can start with implementation of uh, database model classes. Uh, we can start implementation of Docker uh, with Django project with Postgres database because right now we use uh, we are using. Uh, SQLite file. So if you are interested, you can implement this part. Uh, we can use, uh, start implementing, implementing uh, login and register. Uh, for for this file, uh, video, that's it. Um, I will, yeah. Uh, probably I will have some uh, new comments, uh, commits uh, with some minor stuff. Uh, but from now, yeah, we have some kind of um, base structure for our Django backend, Django frontend. And in our next steps, we will start implementing our uh, database model, uh, Docker stuff, uh, prepare some development tools. And also, uh, we will start uh, with our uh, frontend, which will be a login page, register page, and etc. etc. So please make sure that you subscribe to the channel as usual. Uh, enable these notifications so you will see a uh, notification from YouTube when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and see you in next videos. Bye bye.